Creating a calendar in a database and FileMaker is not an easy task. They're not built to create them. Luckily, FileMaker contains a lot of features in scripting, calculations, and relationships to make it able. So what we have here is a monthly calendar. That's the difficult part with a database. Doing a weekly and a uh, daily view is not that hard, but the monthly calendar, getting information to show up in this matrix like a spreadsheet, gets to be a little complex. And then, of course, you want to have the ability to have the white here for the current month and the gray for the previous months. You also want the blue for the current day. You want all kinds of features in there, and it requires you to do a lot of repetitious work, but it is possible and very satisfying once you get done. You can switch between months by using these arrows as we'll build. You can pop up the menu and change it if you want. And it does a very good job. It's very quick and accurate. And it's storing the data in a relational form. So you can search it. You can report on it. You can do anything you want. You can do any kind of printouts you want because it's stored in a format that FileMaker wants. It's just that the interface takes a little bit of work here. And you can add an event anytime you want. Just come in here and say, OK. I want to add an event. You hit that plus sign. You type in my event and we'll put in number 30 here. Type in 1 p.m. It'll automatically put 2 p.m. for you. You've got all kinds of information you can fill it about the event. We'll skip that for right now. Create it and it goes right in there. And then you also have your list view. Now I've opted for a more flexible list view. And What I mean by that is you have one view that can change between day and week. You can see I can see the whole week or I can go back to the day. And I can switch between days if I want. Or I can switch between weeks if I want. And I can even come into other and change that and say, you know, I want to show several weeks worth of information. I want to go back a little bit farther. And it automatically goes ahead and produces this for you. So rather than doing a static daily and weekly view, what we're going to do is produce a view that is dynamic and adaptive that will change according to what you want to look at. You'll see tons of scripts that we'll be covering here. All kinds of scripts. Are, some are uh, less complicated, some are more complicated. There's quite a few scripts here that's going to make this you know, solution really run the way you want it to, manipulating the information so that you can have a look and feel from a monthly calendar and a weekly and, and daily, of course but put it into a relational form. And that's the key there, to keep it a database, but put an interface on the front so it looks like what you're used to seeing a calendar solution.